All right, so anytime you're removing calipers or doing something with the brake line and any fluid comes out, uh, you need to bleed the brakes. Bleeding the brakes is taking any air out of the hose. As you see, we just finished replacing the caliper and now we're going to bleed the brakes. Next step, you want to make sure your brake reservoir is full of brake fluid and make sure that you don't spill this because it will eat away at your paint. If you don't have a power bleeder, you're going to need two people to do this job. One person in the driver's seat and one person bleeding the brakes. Right here is your bleeder. This is where you'd you're going to attach a hose. Now normally, uh, at home, you won't have all this, so you can just use it right in the cup. Here we have this nice uh, tool. It allows you to see the bubbles as they're coming out, so we can wash it until there's no more air bubbles coming out. Alright, so here you see we got our wrench and our, th and our uh, bleeder on. Now we're going to ask the person inside the car to uh, pump the brakes three to five times, and then um, after about three, we're going to ask them to hold and keep their pedal, the pedal down. Okay, pump. One, two, three, four, five. It's pretty hard now. All right, now that we got pumped and held down, we're gonna go take the wrench, open it here, and we're gonna watch as the bubbles shoot through. As you floor. see, follow along. The air bubbles coming around. You can see all the store air. All right, now we're. All right, now we're gonna close the bleeder screw, and we're gonna ask the person to pump again. So through this whole time of having it open, we've had a person inside with their foot down on the pedal. You cannot let go while you have it open. You have to keep your foot down on the pedal. Okay, now we're gonna pump it again. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold. Okay, now we're gonna open it again. Make sure all the air is getting clear. Pedals so we still, on the floor. still got a few little air bubbles. All right. Okay, now we're gonna close it. And now we got a pump. We're going to keep doing this process until you see no more air bubbles coming through. And if you keep doing this extensively, you should always be checking the reservoir to make sure it stays filled. And once you have no more air coming through the hose, your brake pedal should be rock hard. One thing to remember, if you're doing all four wheels, to start furthest from the master cylinder. And thank you for watching.